We have heard of a pledge for us to get uniform for our children for next year so that all of them could be well uniform when they play. But what we, we hope that next time we will have the best in the schools, the best in the district, and the best from the parish, the overall best, so that we can have a truly national competition. And hopefully next time around we will have the people out of Karaku with us. The senior sports official says that table tennis has been featured in the community program being rolled out by the government. This is my hope with our community sports program that we, we, um, we are launching very soon that table tennis would be in the community and that we would have all of our, our community centers with table tennis board and that people within the, the community would play the sport of table tennis. So we're hoping that we would have a wider cross-section. We have a lot of Imani people who will be working with us with this community sport program. I cannot say that the, the association itself, they have a role to play. And we, in the Olympic Committee now, we have been working with the association to try to get them to perform that role. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Ecclesiastical Affairs, Peter Bruno Victor. Turning now to football, Hurricanes and Five Stars scored crucial wins over the weekend to boost their chances of remaining in the Premier Division. Hurricanes beat the bottom of the table, Ball Dogs two goals to one at the Bush Hill Plain Field, while Five Stars defeated Eagle Super Strikers. All four teams are in the bottom of the table, bottom half of the table. Ball Dogs are certain to be relegated to the First Division next season, being at the bottom of the table on seven points. Eagle Super Strikers are also heading for the motion on 12 points. Five Stars have moved one point ahead of Eagle Super Strikers on 13 points with that victory. They now lie in 8th position. The win carried Harry Canes to 22 points to 5th position ahead of Fort Happy Hill. Funknoy United are, on, are 7th in the standings on 16 points. At the summit, there is a dog fight for the title with Lion Paradise and a point ahead of uh, on 41 points. One point ahead, they are on 41 points. Hard Rock are on 40 points and Petra Carib Queens Park Rangers third on 36. Well, fans are looking forward to the continuation of the crucial game between Paradise and Hard Rock that was interrupted October the 27th when there was a crowd invasion of the field at Progress Park after Hard Rock was awarded a penalty. The game is scheduled to resume at the 55th minute with Hard Rock taking the penalty. Plenty of excitement is in the making as the battle for the championship <laughs> intensifies. In the Waggety Super Knockout Football Tournament, Lion Paradise and Petra Crave Queen's Park Rangers scored wins on Sunday to advance to the quarterfinals. Paradise beat combined Northerners two goals to nil with both strikes coming in the second half. Skipper Shane Rennie scored the goal of the tournament so far, a free kick from 30 meters out which rocketed into the right side of the upright. Alexis, Alex Alexis scored the second in the 70th minute. Petra Craig Queen's Park Rangers meanwhile thrashed Hitton's uh, Seasons Fashions FC six goals to nil in a totally convincing display. The St. Davis outfit was definitely no match for the more accomplished and seasoned JFA team who delighted their fans with a splendid display. They were spurred on by striker Joel Greenwich, who scored a hat-trick, being on target in the 22nd, 39th and 51st minutes. Goals by Andrew or Brian Andrew in the 30th, Junior Cyrus in the 72nd and Karim Woodruff in the 77th minute completed the route. In the lone ladies game on Saturday, Footgolf uh, beat St. Patrick who goes to one, with goals coming from Camilla Cado in the first minute and Ronisha Frank in the eighth. Shantan Charles replied for the St. Patrick's team in the 30th minute. The event resumes Thursday with another two matches. That sports, I'm Trevor Thwaites. Having problems with a government department or statutory body? Have you been a victim of unreasonable delay, abuse of power, 
unfair procedures, negligence, discrimination, arbitrary or unreasonable procedures. The Ombudsman may be able to give you some help. The Office of the Ombudsman was established to provide assistance to persons who believe that they have suffered injustice or abuse at the hands of officers employed by government ministries or a statutory body. Give us a call today on telephone numbers 435-9315 or 9316 or walk into our offices during the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Our motto speaks for itself. Justice and fairness for all. Recapping the main points agreement reached to reform the ACP as an institution, Grenada to host a regional launch of ISERA this week and projections of a 2% growth in the local economy in the coming year. Just before we go, just to let you know that Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell will be on Beyond the Headlines on GBN tonight. GIS will join GBN TV from 8.30 p.m. live for the Prime Minister. That's the GIS News. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson-Cornwall. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you for viewing.